Welcome back, everyone, to the fantastic world of YouTube. Here I've got a, a video I made a while back where I was talking about uh, standard manuscript formatting in LaTeX. Um, and somebody left a good comment here, which was, uh, why not org mode with some additional LaTeX export settings and classes? Uh, let's see. Um, oh, yes, yeah, someone said I was just about to say that. Um, Yes, of course, org mode is preferable. Uh, this person said, you know, I would use org mode over any other environment. Definitely preferable. And uh, I totally agree. Uh, the one issue that I had was that I had got the um, org mode to LaTeX standard manuscript format with the custom LaTeX classes working in a previous version of Emacs. And um, it just after you know years, uh, I would I would I would go and tinker with it once in a while, but I never really sat down and figured it out and got it working the way it's supposed to until today. So you're looking at the culmination of years and years of tinkering uh, for something that now is probably just um, no longer even necessary. I, I don't even know if if, if certain. Uh, publications are still accepting standard manuscript format. I believe it was still the standard years ago, but I don't even know because I haven't checked in a while. Um, but but if you need to do it and you're doing it in org mode, uh, this is the way to do it. And I think this will also be helpful if you're not doing standard manuscript format and you just need some more granular control over your uh, org mode to LaTeX uh, exporting. Uh, I think this will also be helpful to you as well. So if that's you, then please stay tuned. Let's figure this out. So uh, so let's actually demonstrate how this works here. So first of all, I'm going to show you how it was not working. Let's go to a file I have here. This is just a, um, a basic setup for a novel. You see, so you've got a title, author, all that goes into the export. Uh, here's where the customizing comes in. So we've set a custom LaTeX class for novel. You'll see if we go back to the scratch buffer, there's one here for novel. The main difference between novel and uh, short, which would be a short story, is that novel replaces your org mode headings with chapters, both a numbered and unnumbered uh, variant. And the, um, the headings in your org mode document for a short story will just be scene breaks. So, you know, use these strategically as you will. Um, so basically, this is the setup for a novel. So these will become chapters. And um, in the numbered version, which is default, it'll say chapter one and then the title. And then for unnumbered, if you put, for example, options, uh, you know, num, nil, let's say, it'll just have the name of the heading and no chapter number. Um, so basically, and yeah, here's a little bit of Stephen King uh, in the death room. It was a death room. Uh, so these are basically just two chapters in a novel. So let me show you how this, first of all, doesn't work. So let's control C, control E to export. I'm going to choose LaTeX and we're going to do O for uh, as PDF file and open. So uh, click that. Uh, yeah, I've already edited this buffer. So let's let's just click to save to save it again. So it creates the tech file and then it sends it to PDF. Uh, okay, so this, of course, you can see is wrong already. This is the correct heading and title page for the for the standard manuscript formatted uh, manuscript. Uh, but this should not be here. This is extra stuff um, here. This also should not be here. This is uh, like another title page uh, that we don't want. It's different fonts and everything. Uh, a table of contents that we're not going to be using in this particular export. And then everything kind of continues uh, as it should, you know, chapter one, the title, it was a death room. Uh, so this is all, uh, this is correct toward the bottom, but none of this other stuff here is going to work. So we have to fix that. Uh, so uh, basically, org mode put this stuff in here. This doesn't come, you know, from LaTeX. So we just have to tell org mode not to put it in there. It's pretty simple, right? So let's actually jump back over to Emacs and I'll show you where we can do that. So uh, let's customize group, and it's already selected here, because I already ran through this. Uh, the group that we're gonna customize is org export LaTeX. Let me just slow that down a little bit, just in case. So I'm doing Alt X, of course, to run the function, uh, customize group, uh, Alt X or Meta X in Emacs, and we're customizing the group org export LaTeX. Okay, so the um, if we actually go back and look, uh, you'll pardon me, we'll go into the actual tech file that org mode 
set up before. This is the stuff that we saw that's not supposed to be there, this hyper setup stuff. Also, we see this is the make title command for LaTeX, which you may be familiar with, and the table of contents. So this generates the table of contents. This generates the additional title page we don't want. So basically, this and this, we just want org mode to not put that in there. It's three things. So that's, that's not too bad, right? And then everything else is correct. Everything else looks good. I'm happy with that. Uh, so let's let's jump back over into the customization group and let's uh, scroll down until we find the, the hyper ref thing. There it is. So let's just change that to no template. And uh, as we go down here, whoops, too far, the org LaTeX title command and org LaTeX uh, table of contents command. These are also things that we, we don't want. So um let's let's change this um i wonder if we can turn it off from here uh no i don't know i think we can do, we can just customize it so i'm actually just going to delete these because um basically this this will interfere with other exports like if you want to use the default latex classes that org mode gives you like article and report and all those uh this will mess with that but um I, I think you can you can just basically you can write these commands into the document. This is basically just giving you more control over what org mode is exporting to LaTeX. So if that's not something you're interested in, if this is a level of customization you, you don't want, um, you know you can you can maybe not do this. But I think uh, I think if if you are exporting to LaTeX to begin with, and you know enough LaTeX to do what you want to do, um, you probably don't need org mode to be adding these. So I think it's fine to delete them, and you can always revert to to put those things back. So now let's apply and save. Yes, save all settings. Now let's go back over to uh, file two and let's export again. Control C, Control E. L for LaTeX, O for as PDF file and open. Uh, we want to yes, of course we want to save. Even though we we change those. All right, and there it is. I'm happy with what I'm seeing so far. So this is the the correct title page. You see, this is the the heading stuff up here. My address is redacted, but you can you can edit all this in the config. I'll have a link to this config below. Um, so if you want to take a look at it and use it yourself, customize it. Um, I, I put in a custom word count there, but anyway, this is all, this is all looking good. There's the title chapter one, the adventure begins chapter two. It was a death room. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is basically exactly what you want to see. This is a beautiful LaTeX export right out of org mode. So there you go. That is the, that's the culmination of years and years of, of casual, casual tinkering to get that to work the way I wanted. I probably could have figured that out in an afternoon, uh, but I just only got around to it now. But, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, so there you go. If, uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, let me know. But uh, I'll go ahead and leave it there. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.